what I mentioned earlier before I even read that part, what I mentioned earlier was once after marriage, there is still some courtship. After the honeymoon, there is still some courtship. But once the baby is born, the courtship is over. I don't know why. Today's topic. We are continuing with the same book, yes, Letters to Young Lovers. Uh, we are going to look at something very interesting today. It's called, Make Your Courtship Last Throughout Your Marriage. Well, let me say this before I even start. Uh, before you marry, there's a courtship. There's the sparkles and all these butterflies. Once you get married, there is still the sparkles and butterflies. Past the honeymoon phase, there is still some sparkle and butterfly. But as soon as the baby is born, as soon as the baby is born, that courtship is gone now am i making that up i don't think so i think it's right here in this in our world but let's see what she has to say about that part because i do think i do see that after baby is born then the attention that went when i was from the husband to the wife goes to the baby and when, when it goes to the baby they no longer want to be with each other. No wonder why we have a, such a high rate of divorce. Eh, I could be wrong. But without further ado, let's get into it. Make your courtship last throughout your marriage. No one word, not, not one word should be spoken not one action performed that you would not be willing that the holy angels should look upon and register it register in the books of heaven above i added the heaven you should have an eye single to the glory of god the heart should have only pure sanctified affections worthy of followers worthy of the followers of Jesus Christ, exalted in its nature, and more heavenly than earthly. Anything different from this is debasing, degrading, in courtesy, or in courtship, and marriage cannot be holy and honorable in this sight of a pure, in the sight of a pure and holy God, unless it is after the exalted scriptural principle. L Y L thirteen paragraph one. So, um, what do we have here? Uh, let's see. What do we have here? Actually, let me see. What do we have here? Um. Whew. Let some let me finish down first. Let some of the hours of courtship before marriage run through the married life. L Y L thirteen point two. Okay, what I mentioned earlier before I even read that part. What I mentioned earlier was once after marriage, there is still some courtship. After the honeymoon, there is still some courtship. But once the baby is born, the courtship is over. I don't know why. Some women say, oh, you know, I have to give attention to my baby now. And the man says, well, she's letting herself go. 
and she's getting more weight. So now she's unattractive anymore. And sometimes it's the man that let himself go. And she still keeps herself fit. And she wants to take care of the baby and the husband. But the husband is no longer wanting to keep himself in shape to be attractive to his wife. And sometimes the husband wants affection from the wife. But she is like, well, you know, I just have a baby. And you know I'm tired of taking care of the baby. You know I'm this. And she's giving excuses not to give pleasure to her husband. It goes both ways, ladies and gentlemen. Men, you need to, you need to take care of your wife. Ladies, you got to take care of your husband. And the both of you got to take care of the baby. Not just one. Both of you. Um, but here's the problem, though. In my last video, I'm going to put a card up there. I mentioned about divorce. Men are not marrying anymore. You have to understand. Some, we some men have been burned by women. And now other men have learned the lesson. They understand the game. The women want to get married. And then they want to stay for like 3 or 4 or 5 years. For the, with the baby and then divorce and get child support and alimony sometimes. Why would men want to deal with that? If we're already thinking, okay, first of all, there'll be no more bedroom fun after marriage because she was going to be giving all these excuses. Oh, honey, I'm tired. Oh, the baby this, the baby that, balonies. Why would we even want to get married? But the women still want affection. They still want attention and validation. Yet the men are not getting anything. It's a partnership. We as men, we hunt for sex. Women hunt for validation and attention. So, we control access to, this, to the relationship. And you let this control access to the sex. That's how it works. And if during marriage, it's going to become a fight. Because many women now don't know their role. Then the courtship is over. In many marriages, women, uh, men, we control access, we control the relationship. And ladies, you control the sex. So, during the marriage, if you, if you decide, oh, honey, I'm too tired, oh, I take care of the baby, oh, I'm not feeling okay, and you don't want to give sex to your husband, why should he give attention to you and to your needs? No, it's a partnership. You control the sex, ladies. We control the relationship. Many men let go of themselves after marriage, and many women let go of themselves, let go of themselves after, after marriage. And the attention that used to be between men and women, it now goes to the children, which is okay. But who comes first? Your child or your husband? Your child or your wife? It's your husband or your wife that comes first because you are the one, you promise to be with that person not with your children forever your spouse comes first <sighs> and of course once the baby is born there is no more courtship there's no more fun no more bedroom fun no more um, ticklish and Things like that is gone. What is right here in this paragraph is what's going on right now in marriage. It's falling apart because people are not doing exactly what God says. And I did 
in my last video, I won't put a card up there. My last video, I mentioned about that the divorce um, getting high because of uh, what society has been telling people to do, which is against God's will. So, uh, I'm gonna this. I'm gonna end right here. Yeah. This is Mother Michelle, and I hope to see you guys. I hope to see you guys again. Until then.